Bradley Metrock, CEO of Project Voice, This Week in Voice Daily, Thursday, August 12th. So I've got a slew of videos I'm sitting on. I've got probably six, five or six that are going to come out uh, this weekend, just uh, still still feeling out my routines uh, with the newsletter. And also uh, This Week in Voice, the podcast is coming back for season six. I'll be talking about that in a separate video. We're lining some of that up now. But in this video here, I want to talk about a big announcement that we just recently made, and that is the announcement of the Project Voice Fund. The Project Voice Fund is a $10 million micro fund. That's a word. That's a term. I didn't make that up. Uh, that's uh, uh, basically a fund uh, that's um, targeted at a specific niche, in our case, voice and AI. Uh, voice and conversational AI, uh, pre-seed and seed capital opportunities. Um, the way we look at it, there's there's a lot of money floating around. Um, there's a lot of money in Series B, Series C, Series D, Series E, Series F, Series G um, <laughs> rounds. Uh, and uh, those opportunities seem to be pretty flush. Uh, you know, a lot of capital uh there to be had what seems to be more of an opportunity and more in need is stuff at that pre-seed and seed level and really for us um at, at the beginning you know at the outset of the pandemic we created project voice catalyst and that is our consulting program for companies born native to voice and ai now for some companies it worked better and for other companies it didn't work as well and we kind of felt our way through it but a year later it's 20 clients deep and to our knowledge it's the largest consulting firm in the voice and ai space and as we've gone along we have seen acquisitions be made for catalyst clients uh, we have seen uh, some great outcomes and um we know that at the beginning of all of that, there was opportunities. And even three or four years ago, when I was getting into the space, really five years ago, there was opportunities, companies looking around for a convertible note here or a pre-seed something or other there. And, um, uh, and then those companies went on to soaring heights. So uh, we feel like we've got a good track record of identifying the characteristics of leadership that contribute to success. We feel like we have a good track record of, um, um, you know, identifying companies that competitively have what it takes. And then the reverse is true. We've been pretty good at identifying some companies that um, have garbage management uh, where, you know, in some cases the CEO was fired for sexual harassment or something like that uh, long after we knew he was a problem. Um, and so, uh, we're going to bring some of that to the table, and it's exciting. Um, for accredited investors, there's an opportunity. Uh, you're welcome to reach out. Uh, for companies that are working in the space um, and are pre-seed or seed level, we'd love to hear from you, too, if we haven't already. And um, this, is, this is a natural next step for us, and it's thrilling. It's fun. It's, it's, uh, it's a great compliment to Catalyst, uh, it's a great compliment to what we do at Project Voice Advisory Group, which is the other side of our consulting. And it's a great compliment to the events and the media arm, um, you know, Project Voice Media Group and, and some of the thought leadership stuff too. So um, we're grateful, uh, we're excited about the space as much as we ever were. And uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this is an exciting next page uh, that we've turned. So we wanted to share it with you and, uh, looking forward to talking a lot more about it for this week in Voice Daily. Thank you for watching. Until next time.